Hey, Earth signs, how are you? Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What is going on for you this week? This is a weekly reading. So let's see where we go. We are at the tail end of Libra time, moving into Scorpio time uh, at the end of this week. So let's get a sense of what's happening for you guys. Uh, if you're interested, I am doing a little class on astrology to help you understand these transits when we move from Libra into Scorpio. Does that feel weird to you? I mean, how would you even know uh, by looking at your birth chart? And I can help you understand it. All right. There's a link below in the description box if you want to jump on. It's Thursday night. All right. Here we go. Divine Dragon. Wow. I got that card the other day. A light grows brighter only by lighting another. Your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. A lot of light here. A lot of light for you guys. Um, some of you may have been through something pretty rough. All right. And that has made you a lot stronger. It has made you a lot more grateful. All right. A little gratitude energy coming through here. And I feel like it's, it's like you're on the other end of it and saying, oh, I finally come through and I, boy, am I going to use this to help other people. So some of you are in that space. Let's see what the reading has to say. If you've come through something rough, then just know that the light is shining brighter. I feel like there's other people around you who want to help you too. Okay. So I think you have to say, hello, help. I think you also have to say, okay, I'm shining my light. I'm letting myself now be seen. Some of you have not been letting yourself be seen. There's a queen of cups here. Those of you dealing with a water sign, two of cups. Wow. Queen of swords. Some of you may be dealing with a, a love triangle. Very different here. As we move from Libra into Scorpio, there's this air energy and this water energy. I just feel like... Um, how you're talking and communicating in the relationship is going to shift into one of feeling. You just feel the closeness with this person versus talk, 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 talk. We, we're moving from one to the other. Okay. We're moving from that air into the water sign. King of pentacles showing up as king of pentacles here. The three of cups. King of pentacles. You guys are a very strong that's a very strong earth energy. So some of you may have a lot of earth, not just your sun sign. Some of you may have a lot of earth in your chart. Three of cups, nine of swords, two of pentacles, knight of swords, and the fool. Eight of cups, strength, ten of cups. Boy, some of you are walking out of a very challenging third party energy here and into something much more satisfying one-on-one -on -one. could be with a Leo. All right. I see a Leo here. Um, so not what this is. This is different. This is the queen of swords and the queen of cups. This has been going on for a long time. This could be like your, um, your mother and your wife, your father and your husband, your, kids and your um, friends or your kids and your adult um, partner, right? There can be a lot of different um, back and forth here. There can be a lot of different people that make up these two groups of people. If you have, for some of you, if you have been dealing with a third party energy, I feel like that crashes, okay? By the end of this week, I feel like it's crashing. There's not going to be this angst anymore this nine of swords i almost feel like you're um a, <laughs> i'm gonna say this some of you might be not the active party in this third party meaning feeling like you didn't have very much power okay in this connection or in this triangle the power is walking away from it whatever part of the triangle you're in I feel like you're walking away from that. I feel like you're deciding, making a decision that I can no longer hold these two factions of people together. I can no longer hold on to the reason why I'm doing this. Um, I just feel like you get the sense of yourself, King of Pentacles here, 
and you're ready for something different. Okay. This might have been going on for a really long time, at least a couple of years. And if someone comes in, so you might have been, okay. So <laughs> if you have been fighting on any level, even subconsciously, to keep these two factions of people together, I feel like you just give up. You're like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to try to bring you together. I'm not going to try to get you, my husband, to like my mother. I'm not going to try to get my boss to be more sympathetic to my coworkers. I'm not going, I'm not going to try to play that bridge or that peacemaker anymore. Right. We're moving out of Libra. Libra is the balance. It's likely you've been trying to balance something for quite a long time. I'm no longer going to have to reconcile uh, the money I make with the money that goes out. Money that comes in, money goes out. And I just feel like there's a um, an unhealthy correlation between these two things. It's almost like you're trying to bring together. I wouldn't be surprised if Chariot was in the extended right? You're trying to bring, bring together these two disparate energies. And finally, you just ask yourself, why the F am I doing this? Why am I playing this role? Why do I have to stand and watch my partner um, lie to me about another person in their life? Why do I have to deal with my, my husband when my mother shows up? Why, 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 why? I just feel like that, that, um, collaboration. Okay. Uh, I was going to say codependency, but that collaboration is, be, has become toxic now. It may not have always been, but it is now. And it's taking a toll on your mental health, taking a toll on your physical health even. And the other people who are involved, I think are clueless as to the toll it's taking on you. Until you stop, I don't think that they realize how much you are gluing the things together, okay? If this is a third-party scenario and your partner is the one that is cheating or not really um, engaged in the relationship, you have been the glue. You have been keeping them in the relationship. You've been keeping them informed as to what's going on in the family. You've been keeping them, whatever it is. It's like, you know what? I've had it. And I don't, I think there is a word spoken about this. The Knight of Swords is um, not mincing words. I can tell you that. The Knight of Swords basically is just like, fuck it, I'm out. And you're not trying to codependently prop up a colleague. You're not trying to um, keep everybody happy, keep the peace. That is very Libra energy. We want to keep everything balanced. Now, I know you're an earth sign. However, what this feels to me like is you've been trying to anchor things that may have no business being together. What are you trying to hold together with spit and chewing gum? Okay. With bailing wire and, you know, it's ugly and it's, it's messy and it's, you know, and you're like, everything's good. Look at, we're bringing these two people together. Just stop. Okay. Just stop. The fool energy is here. I like that walking away. That's air energy. Um, so it says to me that that's going to be happening by the end of Libra, which is the, you know, we're right there at the end. So this eight of cups finally stop using that energy to do something that you can't do anyway. You can't control other people. You can't control what other people say. You can't blah, 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 blah. If someone wants to go and, step out and and have a relationship with another person go bye ain't nobody got time for that okay so it does feel to me this is a, a huge reward the leo energy of the strength card and the ten of cups so you may be familiar with saturn since capricorn is ruled by saturn very earth uh energy and I see that in the King of Pentacles here. Um, Saturn has been retrograde since April, I want to say. And if you have done the work, like basically all this time, you could have been trying to glue these people together or glue the situation together all this time. At the 11th hour, you're like, I'm done here. That still counts as doing the work. Even you could have done it the first day Saturn went retrograde 
or the last day. Saturn doesn't care as long as the work is done. So the work has been completed and it's just this surrender, this surrender to the moon, surrender to your heart, to what's truly going on with you, to where you truly want to go. All this other nonsense, I feel like it could, it could collapse. It could go away. Things could fall apart, blah, blah, blah. But look at the beautiful direction you're going in with this strength and this 10 of cups. I like that. All right. So let's explore that. I feel like you could be dealing with an air sign or a Leo here. So I will look at that in the extended. I mean, it's possible with the water sign, but I feel like that might be the person that is being left behind here. I don't know. For some of you, that's true. For some of you, it's not true. So I'll get some cards for a uh, water sign too. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on with me. Earth sign. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.